Good morning. I welcome you all to the series of lectures on thermodynamics. Today we are going to discuss the constant volume gas thermometer and constant pressure gas thermometer. Very simple concept to measure the temperature. So this is the flexible limb. This is the manometer. This is the bulb, and this is the capillary tube. See, this is the lip L. Okay, difference in manometer level Z, and this is the P naught is the atmospheric pressure. Now pressure in the bulb uh, P is equal to this P naught plus rho G Z, rho G Z. Rho M means uh, density of manometric fluid. Rho de, rho is density of manometric fluid because in the inside the limb uh, manometer what is there? Manometric fluid is there, so manometric fluid into G Z. Z is the height. Rho m is the density of manometric fluid in the manometer. Okay, of course it is mercury. Mostly we use in the manometer we use the fluid as mercury. Now when bulb is brought in contact with the system, whose temperature is to be measured? For example, if I want to measure the temperature of this as a system, for example, if I consider this as a system, I want to contact the, I want to make a contact this bulb, you know, contact. I want to make a contact between the system and the bulb because I want to measure the temperature of this system. So I am contacting physically contact this bulb with the system. Then this bulb and the uh, system come to thermal equilibrium after some time. That's what I mentioned here. When bulb is brought in contact with the system, who Whose temperature is to be measured? The bulb, in course of time, comes in thermal equilibrium with the system. If I contact these physically, automatically these two come to thermal equilibrium because these two come exchange heat and they come to same temperature. That is thermal equilibrium with the system. The gas in the bulb expands on being heated. If the system is high temperature, then automatically heat is transferred from system to the bulb. So whatever the gas is there in the bulb, that gas is heated. Okay, because taking heat from the system, so the gas in the bulb expands and being heated, pushing the mercury downward. If this gas is heated, automatically it will expand. So it will expand and it will push the mon mercury in the manometer downward. This may you know this gas will push the mercury downward. Okay, mercury downward. The flexible tube of manometer is then adjusted so that the mercury again touches the lip L. Because when this gas is expand and push the mercury downward, so the volume of the gas is more. Because because when it is pushing, automatically some amount of portion of the mercury go, going downward, some space is provided here. So this space is also occupied by the gas. So the volume of the gas increases. But the concept is constant volume gas thermometer. So that means we have to maintain gas volume as constant. So for that, what we need to do, you know, we need to adjust the flexible tube such that this manometer, you know, mercury inside the manometer will go and touch the lip L again. So what happens if this mercury will go and touch the lip L? Uh, this, you know, this air, the, sorry, this gas, whatever, whatever this gas is there in the capillary tube and bulb will go to same level. So volume is remains same. You understand? First is expanded so that the mercury will go down some space is provided here that space is occupied by the gas so volume increases to maintain constant volume we are adjusting the flexible tube so that the mercury will go and touch the lip l again this point so that the volume of the gas remains constant that's the concept the flexible tube of the manometer is then adjusted so that mercury again touches the lip l lip l the difference in mercury level z is recorded this z value changes this z value is recorded now and pressure of the gas is the is the bulb is estimated z is recorded and pressure p of the gas that means pressure p of the gas is in the bulb that is the gas pressure in the bulb is estimated how we estimate let us see since the volume of the trapped gas is constant this volume of the trapped gas in the bulb and capillary tube is constant the from the ideal gas equation what is the equation pv is equal to mrt the ideal gas equation pv equal to mrt so from this i can write if I am come here, P V is equal to R T. Volume and characteristic gas constants are constant. In this equation, this volume is already constant because the concept is constant volume gas thermometer. So volume is constant and R is constant. Then this delta P is equal to V into R into delta T, which indicates from this delta T is equal to delta T equal to V by R into delta P. V by R is a constant, so it is not changing. From the above equation from this, change in pressure that is delta P 
measures the change in temperature change in pressure measures the tem temperature okay change in temperature that is the temperature increase is proportional to pressure increase if temperature is increasing here for example if the temperature is more amount of temperature it has high heat it is it having more temperature so automatically it it's bulb temperature is also increase so which will increase the pressure that increase in pressure measures the increase in temperature that's what he mentioned that is the temperature increases is proportional to the pressure increase so here the thermometric property is the pressure now let us switch over to the constant pressure gas thermometer in constant pressure gas thermometer simple con same story in constant pressure gas thermometer the mercury level have to be adjusted in constant pressure gas thermometer the mercury level have to be adjusted to keep z constant to keep z if z is constant the pressure remains constant okay even if the wall that but volume is changing if it is heated it increases the temperature and it will wall you know it will expand so that this mercury level changes right automatically the volume is changing here but the pressure is constant here okay to make z constant we are changing the pressure okay in constant pressure gas thermometer the mercury level have to be adjusted to keep z constant this mercury level is adjusting to keep z constant okay and volume of gas which would vary with the temperature of the system becomes the thermometric property that means here if pressure is constant from this equation you can write uh, delta t equal to p by r into delta v okay same story whatever we did here same you will get here p by r see that is the temperature increase is proportional to the volume increase here the rate of increase in volume increase changes the temperature value that means you know the temperature increases is proportional to volume increase so rate change in volume measures the change in temperature here the thermometric property is the volume in constant volume gas thermometer thermometric property is the pressure in constant pressure gas thermometer thermometric property is the volume thank you very much